Hello and welcome to Seb Watch TV. Today on Seb Watch TV, we have some questions under change of subject. Now, the main idea here is to make X the subject. Okay, so we are looking for X for all of them. So we are making X the subject. Now, I've done series of this um, uh, change of subject, and it's in this playlist. So if um, you want more questions to try your hands on, you can pick it from there. All types of uh, um, change of subject questions are there. Now, let's get straight into it. Let's start from the middle. Now we have s is equal to s squared minus 3. Now the idea is that we should make x stand alone at one side of the equal to sign. That's the final answer. Now you can see that the x is found at this side of the equal to sign. So we will leave it there, but anything around x will be moved away. Okay. So we have minus 3 here. So minus 3 will move to the other side. That it will transpose to the other side. So that we get s plus 3 is equal to s squared. So we are going to get x plus 3 is equal to what x square now from there we have we want to clear this square so what we have to do we have to square root both sides so we we'll square root this side and also square root this as well so this square and the square root will go away now x will be left alone here so that is x will be equal to square root of x plus 3 that will be our final answer okay good now let's come to this side now we have y is equal to uh, x z uh, plus 5 okay now I want you to pause it and solve it after that you come back and we all check our answers so what we are going to get is that we are moving this uh, uh, s to uh, the other side so we are going to get y minus s being equal to xz now I want to clear the z so what do we do they are multiplying and we want to clear the z so what do we do we divide here by z okay and divide the side 2 by z so our final answer is going to be x being equal to y minus x over z now our final one is 2x plus 2y is equal to p we are making x the subject as well so with this one too we are going to get uh, we will move the 2y to the other side so we are going to get 2x being equal to p minus 2y okay then we are looking for x so we divide here by 2 and also divide here by 2 so we are going to get x being equal to p minus 2y being equal to 2. So that will be our final answer for this one. Now, thank you very much for watching. If, uh, if, if today is your first time, kindly subscribe. Check in the description below and you will see my YouTube channel. I want you to follow the channel. I post videos there. I put a lot of uh, 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 questions and answers over there so that you can also try it on your own. So thank you very much for joining. My name is Seb Watch. I am out for now. Bye-bye.